Liam, it's finished 2 2, and there's a feeling of disappointment because that was a game we could very easily have won in the end, wasn't it? 100% would have liked to have dropped two points. Mm. Um, I think the second half, we dominated it that much. I can't remember having the second half mm. like it. Got to say, the fans were immense. It was brilliant. The atmosphere was unbelievable, and they stayed with us and they dragged us through. Uh, I think they loved the attitude, I think they loved the application, I think they liked the wear craze. It's everything what the Southport fans like. It was there in abundance, a lot of flair. A lot of good, really some really good football players, and you know, as I said, I'm going on proud of them yeah. uh, because they have done remarkably well today to come back. I know the young people will say we took a big gamble going as young as we have, but I said and Gloucester will think we took that big a gamble. Yeah. Uh, you know, they got to give them a little bit of credit as well. You know, they done us on a free kick on a, on a corner. Uh, I know it was a mad deflection that's gone in. Yeah. I said, which is just the point, but the movement was good. Uh, and uh, what I will say, we must have had 30 set pieces in the last third of the pitch and the keeper in the back four did deal with it, which, yeah. and the quality going in was good, so got to give them credit, but I actually think you're going into the last 15 minutes, you've got to remember they're a full-time team, but I think we ran all over them the last 15 minutes, uh, the, the, the energy, Connor, Dylan, Josh... They were just relentless breaks. I thought Doug joined in. Chris Doyle knocked some brilliant diagonal balls. Adam Hansen come out and linked play, played through the lines. Jack Doyle was non stop up and down the pitch. Uh, Joel Nash come on and should have scored. Yeah, no. Connor's put it, it's gone through his legs at the far post. Man. You know, Jack Bain has had a great chance. Marcus has had gone clean through. Dylan should score. Connor should score again. Connor should score in the first half. Mm -hmm. I said, lots and lots of chances. So. Yeah, on the first day, really pleased, um, and, and, and you got to give them credit because you know they had some really good footballers out there as well. Yeah, he changed it at half time. Uh, took Charlie off. Is he okay with the injury, or was that no, just tactical? Was tactical? Just a tactical one. I said, uh, basically, I just thought we had to be brave. Yeah, we had to get on the ball. We had to the three in behind Marcus had to had to really be honest and say could they do more in the last third. Marcus led the line really well. Glad he got his goal, got off the mark. Uh, should have had a should have had a header in the first half. He's put over the bar. Should have scored when he went clean through. So could have easily come up with a hat trick, which is good. He's got chances. Uh, Connor Woods' goal was a fabulous finish. Um, and again, you know, the three of them in the second half, the three Dylan, Josh, and Connor looked like they were going to do something every time we got the ball. So. Yeah, it was good. He was quiet in the first half, Connor. We were saying he was a bit subdued, wasn't he? But that second half performance, he, he was immense, wasn't he? And he well, shows the quality that that's got. Well, I think you say he's quiet. He's gone clean through. He's gone yeah. clean, th clean through in the first half. And, you know, you're thinking, what? You did. You waited this all. And, and he's bizarrely squared. Uh, yeah. And it wasn't a good square. But you, you then think he then gets a harder chance. And the second half, he rips the net up. So, you know, he, he, you've got to get behind him like you. He's got he's got another step in him. He's got another level in, uh, where he can go in his career. Mm -hmm. As long as he keeps working hard and shows the application which he has done all pre-season, and the players around him appreciate where where he needs it, where we should give him. We've done a little few little bits of in and around the box where people are waiting for everyone, and then all of a sudden giving him just giving him the goal and excite people. Yeah. And we said it years ago with Carl Baker, just give him the ball. Let go make something happen. He's, he's got that in him. He's reminiscent of Carl, isn't he? He's, he's got that flair that Carl's got. Like you say, he has got a step up in him, hasn't he? I think. Well, he, uh, Carl Baker was incredibly lucky that he actually had five years here. Yeah. Five years, and when he went, and then he went, and then he went, and then he went again. It was that because of the ground and support given. Yeah. Uh, and the players around him appreciating and giving the ball, and you know, constantly telling them you need to do more or you need to improve on your, your defensive side, and you know, players make players at the end of the day. Yeah. You mentioned the fans before, it must make one heck of a difference to our people in, because in that second half they were really roaring us on, weren't they? I said, I, I, listen, I've grown up at, at this football club, as I came here as a young manager and you know, I've been, they've been with, on this journey with me all the way. Uh, I think they've seen characteristics of what they would say is a typical one of my size today. You've had loads of energy, you've had loads of athleticism, you've, had, you've asked big questions, we've been big in other areas, but we've got a flair in the final third. Mm. And uh, you know, but they were brilliant. They, you know, the whole it wasn't just the Jack R end, but it will always be when you're attacking that end, you yeah. feel. But the main stands all around the pitch and the reception to get 800 
on the first day of the season against Gloucester who are bringing no one. Yeah. It's a remarkable turnout, especially after being away for so, so long. And it, it actually, it's the first game I've enjoyed yeah. <laughs> in, in a long time. I said, it's just not the same. I mean, you play football. Listen, football's about fans and it's about players. Mm -hmm. And we all have our little bits to do, but for players do stuff on the pitch, fans cheer them on, and, t and today they dragged us on. Yeah. I, you know, it would have been a travesty if we never come out with anything. You know, I feel disappointed that we only come out with a point. Yeah. But, uh, but definitely they got behind us brilliantly. Yeah, we move up to one of your favourite parts of the country, don't we, in the North East next week to a game at Spain where we've won away today. So, hard trip ahead, but let's give us some heart seeing us play like that. Yeah, now without a doubt, I think. Listen, there's no pressure on us. You know, there's no pressure. You, you, you're starting to look, you'll look at Boston have got to go up this year, York have got to go up yeah. this year, Files have got to go up this year, Kiddie have got to go up this year. There's that many teams who really have to get out this level of football. Yeah. So the pressure's on them. So we can go and play free, go and have a right good go, make sure we enjoy it, make sure we keep on developing, getting people to come and being excited by the talent we've got in, in and around it. But listen, we'll always want to win. We'll always want to win. We want to go anywhere and get points, and we're not going to go there and roll over. But massive pressure on all the teams this season. Yeah. Massive. Yeah. Well, I think you saw at the end the reception that the players got from the crowd. It was a, a well, you know, well deserved performance, wasn't it? I'm sure, and uh, you must be very pleased with that as well. Yeah, um, brilliant. As I said, it, it, it has been an occasion in the fact that you're saying a two-two draw at home is not an occasion. It's the occasions about the fans and yeah. the fans who were back, and it was great to see people I haven't seen for eighteen months. Mm -hmm great to see them looking well and, and healthy and yeah. you've got to remember the, the awful lot of people who, who aren't here for, yeah. and will sadly never be here again and yeah. you know as I said I think there'll be a few people thinking today of people who've, who passed by in the last 18 months but you know, we're all together in, in the one place I think it's a, it makes a better world when we're all together. Brilliant, well said Liam and well done no today. Thank you. Okay, we've now got Josh Hamami with us. Um, firstly, can we just welcome you to Southport Football Club? It's your thank debut today, isn't it? Yeah, my debut, yeah, thank you. And you must be happy with that debut. It went well, yeah. particularly in the second half. Yeah, definitely. I thought it was a great debut, you know. And the only disappointing thing is if everyone here knows that we, we should have come away with the three points. You know, especially the second half, we, we was all over and we created some great chances. Connor had a few, Max had a few, um, Jack Bainbridge, you know. And that's just a few off the top of my head. We we pinned them back for long periods in the game, and I feel like we definitely should have got the three points. Yeah, on your own performance, so you must be very pleased with that, Josh. It, it is quite a step up, isn't it, for you? So you, yeah. you must be pleased. Yeah, it is a step up. Um, I feel like the cup games last season with Marine really got me an idea of what it's like to play against the higher teams and and what it takes. Um, and you know, there's no better no better way to make your debut than last season, top of the league, and to come here in front of the home fans who were who were class. Um, they cheered us on right through the game, and yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with my debut. Yeah, Liam's just mentioned the fans. In that second period, they really got behind you, didn't they? It must help to have the people back in. Oh, yeah, definitely. You know, football without fans isn't football. Um, the fans were class. They definitely gave us that, that extra 10% that we needed, and, you know, without them, we, we could have gone under at 2-1, but they got behind us. They, they, you know, they carried on being supportive, and um, we're just a shame we didn't get the, the three points for them. I think that's the thing, everyone's feeling a bit disappointed with a two-all draw, but it's a two-all draw against a team that are very strongly fancied, so that's a very positive thing to take away. Yeah, isn't it? definitely a positive, you know, we could have come away with nothing at one point, but to come from behind twice and, and saying that we should have won the game is a real positive. It's our first game together as, as a new set of lads, mm -hmm. and um, you know, I feel like we're bonding really well, and it's a special group. Yeah, I was going to ask how you settled in with everybody. There's a few characters in that dressing room, isn't there? Yeah, there is a few characters. You know, not there's not one bad egg though. They're all they're all top lads and one of the best change rooms I've been in. Is it? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and you're enjoying your time here. Yeah, I'm loving it. You know, playing in front of uh, big fans like that, big yeah. crowds. Um, and against good teams as well, you know, yeah. I'm still disappointed we didn't win, but yeah, I'm enjoying that. I think that's the, the, the topic today, everyone's disappointed yeah. we didn't win, but it's a good point, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, so yeah. We did change the shape a little bit at half-time, didn't we? Did, and you seem to get a lot more on the ball in the second period, did that help you? Yeah, we changed from, from a four, uh, from a three at the back to a four. I um, feel like I did get a lot more of the ball and I started to go into the game, especially in the second half. Um, you know, I feel like I didn't really have any clear chances to mm. score, hopefully that will come, but... Um, yeah, I feel like I, I feel like I had a good game. Yeah, we have been told you're the best dead ball kicker in, uh, well, certainly in Marines League. You, do you think you, you're going to give us a goal eventually with the, from one of those so, free I kicks? I hope so. If that was a bit closer, we might have gone in. But, it wasn't far off, uh, was it? No, it, it wasn't too far. Hopefully, I'll, I'll get a couple of them about this season. Brilliant. Okay, thanks very much, Josh. Thank you very much. Thank you.